Good morning. It is 7.30, the 8th of May, Wednesday, the 8th of May, 54 degrees outside. Um, it's, it's warmed up a little bit. It was in the upper 40s a little while ago. There's all we can see today. It's a foggy morning. Let that come into focus a little bit. I think it, that's about it. That's what we can see. Um, we are headed to Juneau. We're due to be in Juneau around 2 o'clock, 2, 2.30. And um, today is the big day. Today is the, two, we have two excursions today. Um, the helicopter up to the glacier, Mendenhall Glacier. And we're gonna do a little hike around. Um, and then the second one is um, the tram. And I can't remember the name of it but the tram up the side for the great, beautiful views. We're so excited. We have been up for a couple of hours um, and uh, we are gonna go down and meet everybody for breakfast. And then, what time is it? Yeah, 7.30. So we're meeting everybody around 7.45 for some breakfast. Um, I've had a little bit of coffee and some yogurt. We ran down um, for coffee and I grabbed a yogurt. Um, so that's that. And, um, we're gonna get this day started. Good morning, Alaska. Oh my goodness. I know it's foggy, but if you look very carefully, right there is a mountain. We are heading to Juneau, and uh, this is our first glimpse of beautiful Alaska. I, I can't even tell you how amazing this is. It's just amazing. What do you think, babe? Very cool. Totally amazing, right? Yep. Yep. There's some low There's land. Some low land. Yeah. Oh my. Okay, it's not that cold outside, but the wind, the wind will cut right through you, so that's what you need your coats for. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're here. Okay, so we are headed to breakfast. Um, I can't help this silly smile on my face. I'm so excited about today. <laughs> Good morning. As we get into Port so late, they actually have lunch in the dining room today, so we're gonna try that out. I have never had lunch in the dining room on a carnival ship, only on uh, Seaside and MSC. So this Norwegian. is gonna be, yeah, I'm sorry, Seaside and Norwegian, or MSC and Norwegian. I'll get it right one of these times. Bliss and, and Seaside. Yes, Bliss and Seaside. So um, I'm gonna try that out today. Okay, so here's my breakfast this morning. This is an omelet and some ham. But tomorrow, I'm going to get it what Dee got for tomorrow. She got the breakfast, broccoli breakfast scramble. Cheddar bacon broccoli scramble. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying tomorrow. That's why the water is cold up here in Alaska. And whenever they die in the ocean, of course, it sinks to the bottom. So what's on the bottom? Lots of nutrients decomposing dead stuff. To see this passage where we're sailing right now, so you can imagine there's probably previous pieces of ice to be floating. This was supposed to have a tracy on it, but they changed it to glacier. Watch that. That's a seagull. I can't tell. Can you tell? Oh gosh. Look at We are still out on wildlife quests this morning. We haven't given up yet. We have a couple of people passing by here on the right hand side of the ship. And that middle one uh, is actually covered with brown bodies. You know, if you've got a good pair of binoculars, uh, you can the middle see them all has through the belt. On the middle island, island sea lions. Oh, um, oh yeah, they're lumpy. Uh, oh, yeah, I can George see them. Stellar was actually a naturalist who came up here yep. and uh, surveyed Alaska, got the name of few different It's funny, this does go in closer. Species up here. We are down on deck two, zipping through the alchemy bar, which I've yet to see open. Well, it's a late night thing. Oh, okay. It opens at like four or five. Oh. It opens at five. I had no idea. All right, so um, we're just going to kind of figure out where we need to go, and I don't think they clear the ship yet, so we'll see. Yeah, waiting for clearance. So then, there we go. That was the Gordon's Fisherman. Ready with the catch of the day. 
well. We're going to get off with the rest of the ship. But she said, uh, Jen, our cruise director, said it moves quite fast. So right now it is 2.14. We just got in line and we will check in. Hopefully I remember. All right, heading off the ship. One more time, 10.30 guys. 10.29. On board is 10:30 p.m. We are about to step foot in Alaska. Oh, steps! All right. Note that it is steps. It is tiny little steps, but there is a rolling gangway right there for those who need it. This is kind of tricky. It is raining. Thank you, honey. All righty. Nah, I got a hood. All right. Cold, wet, rainy Juno. All right, it's nice and steep. You will need assistance for sure. And the carnival gentlemen have helped. All right. Excuse any. Uh, uh, raindrops on the lens. Raindrops on lenses, and there is the legend. Oh, pardon me. Beautiful ship. We have not seen her in her full. Seen her fully yet. We are looking for helicopter, helicopter glacier. I think that's it right over there. At seaplane. Uh oh. Don't worry, we might have a problem. Now, she's 2.45. So unfortunately for the day, we had to cancel all of our tours. Oh no, we yeah. had to cancel. The weather, the clouds are going up. Okay, so it took like seven minutes to get off the ship. But it's now 2.27, but we've been standing here forever. Along with all, everybody else, the line has not moved because you have to read each and every line to figure out what excursion you want to do. And then, you know, pay for it and all of that stuff. So. Kind of um kind of a bum deal but um you know it is what it is you can't okay. can't change the weather so, okay so we picked up another excursion it was 64.99 or something a person excuse the way i look i i had to pull this off my ears it was driving me crazy um so now we are on a bus to maidenhall glacier park and we will get to explore the glacier i don't know if we get to go up on it but we get to explore the glacier and um, for a couple hours look at visitor center and then head back here to Juno um, and then uh, ride the tram. Up. So we're going to have a good day. It's going to be great. There's the glacier. <laughs> Big old icebergs out in the river. Wow. And there's an iceberg over there. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna hike up to the waterfall, which you can see over there. Right over there, there's the glacier. It's two miles, two mile hike. Anyway, so we're a little grumpy right now because the tour was canceled and we didn't get any advance notice. Everyone in line saw, felt the same way because, uh, you know, 
they knew at 5 a.m. this morning it was going to be canceled and we could have had an opportunity to actually book something, you know. But by the time we were in line, there were 10 people and 20 people in front of us. Everything was sold out. Tour buses were already leaving. Tour buses were leaving and it's just disappointing. And um, I don't think that's on Carnival. I, I don't know who that's on right now. We're gonna go see a waterfall. We're gonna make this day wonderful. And it's gonna end up being a fantastic thing. Yep. We are gonna look at getting the tour going on a helicopter in another port. That's some brown water, but it's, it's clear. Clear. <laughs> clear brown water. They said the she said the porcupines are in the trees. So Watch eating tomorrow. eating and sleeping, yeah. I found out why you can't bring the food into Alaska. The bears. It's not to do with coming into Alaska, it has to do with being on an excursion and having the food with you. If you open it, it attracts the bears. The bears smell it. They smell it. So they asked if you had snacks to leave them on the bus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for your safety, I would do that. <laughs> through on that side. The moss. This big old rock. Wow. I still got a big old rock. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just listen. And then it continues on to that side. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, here we are. Wow. Wow. You go down or up? Uh, down. And then we'll go up because down takes you right to it. Oh, wow. Okay. The big icebergs. Well, I'm sure those aren't big icebergs, but you know what I mean. Watch your step. That's granite. Isn't it? Isn't that granite? Wow, look at that. We're gonna have to take a majillion pictures.
never seen anything like that in my life. You guys, it's just... Okay, so we walked a little closer. Rob walked right up to it. We'll see if he'll do that again. I was FaceTiming with my kids and taking pictures. Look at the water. Look at all the rocks, the granite. Look, is that your countertop right there? You guys, it's magnificent. Right there is gorgeous. And then the mountains, and then right there is the glacier. There is, you see the white streaks coming down the mountains? Those are waterfalls. We're back on the trail and now we are um, we're headed back to the visitor center and then we're going to take another trail up to the start of the waterfall yes yes um that so that's the plan right now that is the plan yes this was two miles but it didn't feel like two miles now you know he works and runs he works he has a very physical job i run so for us this was very easy yep. Um, however, now I have seen some people stopping and taking a break. You do see it is paved. There are some ruts and some stones. You do have to pay attention to that. But, um, you know, I feel like if you can walk a, a, a couple miles, you'll be all right. It might be a little tiring, but uh, you'll feel better once you get to that waterfall because you will just be, you'll be gobsmacked. So you'll be fine. <laughs> But give it a try. Um, scooters, walkers. Maybe if you have a rugged scooter. Not real sure about a walker. Um, you would have to have the walker with the big wheels. The ones that are really made for this type of terrain. And quite steady on your feet. Um, but uh, I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure. So um, I'm going to leave a lot of it in coming up. So that you can see and that way you can make an assessment for yourself um, as to whether this is suitable for your particular situation. Oh, look at that. Oh, we have to take a picture. Oh, let me get the other camera out. Oh, G and J and Ricky and Laura out there. Look at that, okay. Now you can really kind of see the iceberg. We met if we go up even higher. There it is. And then pan around. And there's Mendenhall Glacier. Gorgeous. And there's the waterfall, which you can still hear. You sure? Yep. I will it. So it goes up behind the visitor center. And then we'll turn back around. Great. It's all good, babe.
pretty impressive view. Yes, it is. You can see the top of the mountain way. Well, you can't, but. Which is exactly, that is why we couldn't take the helicopter. I'm not going down a bear trail. Okay, I'm really scared to do this. Well, the second sign saying there was a bear scared me. So I chickened out and we are now in the visitor center and we're gonna watch a movie. Um, I'm sorry, I feel guilty, but I was too scared. Okay, I feel better about chickening out. The park ranger told, we ran into D and J and uh, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky and Laura from Parrotage. Who? I don't know who those people are. Were you talking to strangers again? I was, I was talking to strangers. He tries to teach me, but I don't listen. So, um, their park ranger, they were speaking to a park ranger, and he said that he saw two bears and a porcupine on the trail. I think it was yesterday, they said. Or maybe today, I don't know, one of those days. So that's why this Misty right here was not going down the bear trail. <laughs> It's not called the bear trail, but I call it the bear trail because the sign said it's a bear trail. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous here. Let's go look at that. Let's go look at that glacier one more time. I mean, it's not like it's something you can see every day. So we need to go look at it again. We're almost out of time here. It is 517. She will be here. Tara, our bus driver, will be here at um, 540. You just... You just, you can't even know how beautiful this is. The camera doesn't do this justice. It's just beautiful. All right, so let's go see through here. Actually, you have a lot better now than it was two hours ago when we got here. I agree. There's no miss. Yeah. Before you couldn't even see it, now I can actually go. I didn't think of looking that direction, but when you came down the distance, it was still missed. It's just beautiful. We miss this little stream over here. So pretty. It's just beautiful. You can see the ice floating just through the trees. And there's that. Maybe we should go down these steps here. Okay, so we went down those little steps and here we are at the water. You can see those the iceberg there. And then we get a little closer and turn and there's the glacier. Gorgeous. And then here's the water. Crystal clear, beautiful. clouds on the mountain. Headed back to the port once we get on the bus. Our bus will be here at 5.40, so like eight minutes. Um, we're going to get back on the bus, go back to the port. They're gonna ride the Roberts tram, the tram up the Roberts Hill or whatever, the Roberts Mount something, Roberts. Mount Roberts tram. That's about it.